hello guys you're yeah, welcome back if you're new on this channel my name is bola harrison kindly stay keep watching enjoy and don't forget to hit the subscribe button in today's video i'll be answering the question can you work and pay your tuition fee as an international student in czech republic Like I always say, questions of this type that deals with bills and deal with, deals with work depends on varieties of factors. For me, there are a lot of conditions, there are a lot of questions you need to ask yourself. There are a lot of things you need to be sure of before you leave. You know, it's a very logical question to ask that I'm coming to a different country, I'm coming to a place where I don't know what the, what the lifestyle is, what the cost of living is. How do you think that I can pay my tuition fee? Now, if someone was asking me this question directly on a one-on-one -on -one basis, what I would ask, the first thing I would ask is, how much is the tuition fee? F which program are you going for? Which university? Where is the university located? Do you have an external sponsor or support? Do you have um, enough money saved up to pay your tuition fee for the first year or first semester? What's your payment plan? What's your backup plan? These are the questions I would generally ask someone if I have a friend asking me genuinely that what do I think about paying their school fees in Czech Republic. Now, the first question of how much is your tuition fee, it is valid because there are some courses you do in Czech Republic that your tuition fee is less than about 500 euros. There are some courses you do that, is, that ranges from 1,500 euros to 7,000 euros. I have seen courses ranging from 7,000 and even 8,000 and above. So it depends basically on what kind of course you're going to study in the Czech Republic. It also depends on the university and the city where that university is located. So now, if your tuition fee is 500 euros, I don't think that you will have a problem with paying your tuition fee, at least for the first semester before you leave your home country and even when you get to Czech Republic. Now, if your tuition fee is about 1,500 euros, you can pay twice, which is a good thing. I don't know if that applies to courses that are even like 500 euros or below. Now, you can pay twice. So say your school fees is 1,500, you are paying 750 per semester. If your school fees is 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, which means that let's go with 7,000, which is the highest I have seen so far. 7,000 means you are paying 3,500 for each semester. For a year, you are paying 7,000 euros. Now, I think you should also check this rate with your home country's bank rates. Means that, for instance, you're in Nigeria, you are not using black markets because you can use the Form A central bank system to pay for your tuition. That's if you have the patience to wait. If you want to pay with um, um, parallel markets, which means you want to buy the currency from outside and pay, you also have to do this calculation and multiply it with the money or the tuition fee you are paying. Now, for me, if you are paying 500 euros, I don't think you have a problem. If you're paying 1,500 euros, you also do not have a problem. If you're paying 3,000 euros and above, even 2008, 2005, my question is this. Do you have the money right now to pay your first year? Do you have the money to pay your one year and your second year immediately? If you don't have it now, let's go. Let's analyze like this. You get to Czech Republic. You haven't paid your tuition fee for the year at all, but you have money you want to pay for your first semester or your second semester. I would advise that you pay that money from your home country, especially if you can use the bank rates. Now, when you get to Czech Republic, you would find jobs for the main time you want to basically take something that you would survive on so in your first three months you cannot really be picky you want to do something that you know puts food on your table and pays for your for the roof over your head so i don't think that you want to be very picky in your first three months you can get something within that time you can get something better you can get something you know soft when you get any kind of job and they are paying you like a hundred to 150 check rounds and you're working 20 hours per week you are working in a place where you are paid 150 check crowns and there are places you are paid lower than that but we'll go with 150 150 check crowns 20 hours a week is 3000 3000 check crowns four time four weeks in a month you have 12000 check crowns if you go by the um, standard exchange rate which is 1 euro to check crowns will give you 24 check crowns if you divide that to, by um, 12000 by 24 you have 500 euros so 500 euros for maybe the end of the month you have to pay your accommodation so 500 euros accommodation ranges from like 130 135 to maybe 180 to 200 depending on where you are staying let's assume you are paying accommodation of 5000 check crowns so what is left with you from your 12000 is 7000 check crowns also divide that again by 24 now let's even say that you have you know you just came you have food you have 
extra money for your miscellaneous for your feeding you want to focus on your tuition fee 500 euro you need to save pay 1005 for your first semester you know that some university will require you already made payment before you resume even though they tell you that you can pay after your visa they require that when you upon enrollment you have like a few weeks to pay your first semester's tuition so i'm sure you should have been able to undo that from your home country you should have paid that or had you have money to pay that so now i'm going to focus on the second semester where you are in czech republic and if you are an independent student that you already exhausted your savings to pay your first semester fee and your old travel process and you are now in czech republic immediately you come to czech republic the first the kinds of job you get might be job that pays you like ten thousand czech crowns or less or within 12,000 check rounds or 15,000. It is after you've stayed for, like, stayed for like a month, depending also on the kind of skills you have in exchange for the kind of job you want, then maybe you can get jobs that pays you 20,000, 25,000, 28,000 maybe. And now, if you are the type that you also can do remote kinds of job, start searching online for remote job. I think you should even start searching before you enter Czech Republic so that you can see the kind of offers that are available online and the kinds of job you can do with your skill when you come into Czech Republic. I don't really see the possibility of you living fine on 12,000 Czech crowns for the month if you intend to pay your tuition fee out of that money. But if you are doing a job that at the end of the month you are paid 24, 28 or let's say 20,000 check crowns and above. 20,000 check crowns means that you have like about 800 euros. You are fine. It means that if you pay your accommodation of let's say 150 euros, you will still have about 600. You can remove that gradually. But it's it's not like when you get to Czech Republic, you immediately get a job that will pay you that amount. Now talk of you are paying 3,000 500 per semester which is 7000 and you don't have any savings anywhere i don't really see the possibility of you being able to pay your tuition fee conveniently with the job you will get with the kind of job you will get any kind of job you get basically that does not pay you up to 200 or 250 check crowns or does not pay you up to 20,000 and above per month at the end of the month it's going to be really difficult and tight for you to pay your tuition fee conveniently i'm not going to lie it's going to be really difficult in such cases i will usually advise that you find a course that is cheaper for me course that is cheap that you can pay your tuition fee conveniently and still feed live fine in czech republic could be any cost that is within the range of a thousand five hundred euro below and up to three thousand euro maximum three thousand euro in the sense that you are paying one five per semester and if god so good you have money to pay your first year it means that you have one year to save up for the second year so remember that if you are paying seven thousand euro per year you still have to do your insurance for the next year to renew if you're lucky you get a job in any organization or anywhere that they are you know giving you a monthly allowance and taking care of your health insurance that's also good for you but i'm not going to assume anything now i'm not going to assume you've gotten a job i'm not going to assume there's a company somewhere that is going to take care of your health insurance let me assume now that you come into czech republic as a foreign student you are working the first kind of job you will get no lies may not pay you up to 200 check crowns per hour some job will pay you like a hundred a hundred and twenty a hundred and thirty and some will pay you two hundred and two fifty everybody's luck grace differs so i'm not gonna lie but i'm going to assume you get a job that pays you a hundred and fifty check crowns a hundred and fifty check crowns for twenty hours unless you're saying you want to abandon school but it doesn't make sense because the main reason you are there is to study so pay your tuition fee and working is going to be difficult let's not lie because you are not earning in euro if you were earning in euro it would have been very okay because the same amount you get in euro you can use it to pay your tuition fee but you are earning in check crowns which at the end of the day you have to convert to euro to pay for your school fees so anything above three thousand check crowns guy man like i'm not gonna lie it's going to be really difficult for you especially if you're a student without a sponsor or without a backup there are students here that even with their sponsor even with their parents backup they are still going for courses that are less than a thousand five hundred euro if you are doing a course that is like they are paying twenty four thousand check crowns twenty four thousand check crowns it's just about a thousand euro if i'm not mistaken yes twenty four thousand check crowns is about a thousand euro so a thousand euro for one year is five five hundred euro split into two for the two semesters you can see that if you get a job that is twelve thousand check crowns per month you can still confidently survive it's just that the city where the school is located also matters because what kind of jobs do you get there that will sustain you do you get options in prague are very nice you prague has more options 
more opportunities. It's not as if there is gold somewhere in Prague, or I would say that life is also not challenging in Prague for international students, but the opportunities that students get in Prague, you cannot compare it to opportunities that students get in Zlin, Librek, Padubise, or Haradret. They are different. What I'm just going to say also is where is your school located? If your school is located in Prague and you're paying 4,000 check crowns or 3,000 check crowns, I can say that you will find something to do. It might take maybe a month or two or three months. You'll find something to do. At the end of the day, you might get a job that you are earning 24,000 check crowns per month or 25 or maybe 20 and above. Now, you see how the options differ. But if you, you are working in a, in a small city where you are paying 3,000 and above, unless you don't plan to go to school, unless you plan to skip classes, unless you plan to live outside your city and then come for class, which I don't see how comfortable and convenient that would be for you. The job you get for 20,000 and above, let me just add that those jobs are full-time jobs. They are jobs where you have to work more than 20 hours. So how you balance that with your academics is what I don't know. It's what I don't, I don't, some people go to class twice a week, some classes or some programs run classes maybe three times a week, which is fair enough for the student. You might be lucky you find a full-time job that pays you 25,000, 28,000, 27,000 check crowns, but you know, your school, how do you balance that? But for me, when you pay your tuition fee before coming in, it puts you under less pressure. It puts you under less pressure. When you have money with you, it puts you under less pressure to find a job um, that would give you enough to pay but when you come in and you you think that you want to hustle and pay that school fees it's going to number one it will affect your academics it will affect you mentally because already when you come here and you leave the vacation stage vacation stage is the stage where your mind is no longer fixed on holiday your mind is now like i'm a resident here that's what i call vacation period when your mind leaves that vacation period you'll be placed under a lot of mental pressure mental pressure of that type can lead to anxiety disorder and it can lead to depression and it can lead you to be frustrated now affecting your academics means that you are cutting classes so how do you catch up and i don't think czech universities um do the online teaching or where they have to record courses and you go back to watch it so this for me is a no-no now some people can say that coming yes coming and then when you get here the next academic year you can change yes it's fine you can do that you can change your university you can change your course even in the same university you can change your course but then remember that to enroll and to be given all the proper documents you need as a student you must pay your tuition fee now if you have paid three five or two thousand or one five are you willing to let that go if you think you can let three five euros go because i'm talking of tuition fee above three thousand now if you think you can let two thousand euros two five three five euros go and you apply for another program another school then i think it's something you can give a shot my advice to you would be to pay your tuition fee from your home country have enough to pay the first year's school fees have enough to pay your first sections fee so that when you come into czech republic you can conveniently calmly do your calculations and find a job whatever you're doing do your calculations very well i always say let your maths maths let your calculation be accurate and correct be true to yourself answer these questions and then you'll be able to make the decision but even with funding even with funding living conveniently here living here is okay living here is fine if you are not under the burden of paying tuition fee of maybe above three thousand living here is fine whatever you earn can feed you conveniently can pay your bills can pay your tuition depending on the amount but what once your tuition goes beyond three thousand and you don't have external help and you are relying on the job you get here in Czechia then i'm just going to say good luck with your sanity your mental health and i'll just wish you all the best but you will be under so much pressure that at the end of the day you might be forced to leave the school and pick another school but save money like i've been saying not just for your tuition have money that will feed you conveniently for your first three months even beyond three months and have money for your tuition fee for the one year or the first semester that's how i think you can survive here that's how i think you can pay your school fees God no go shame us. So guys, I think I've been able to address this question. If I did not address it and you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. I would attend to your questions. I would answer them like I always do. And don't forget, please guys, hit that subscribe button for your girl. Some of you watch, you don't hit the subscribe button. It's free. Please, for my sake, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Talk to you later.